We're starting the newscast this week with the upcoming Mr. and Miss DHS ceremony. It's taking place a week from Saturday in the high school gym at 6 o'clock. The candidates got together this week for pictures, and they will represent more than a dozen student organizations. Good luck to everyone. In case you missed it, football homecoming was held last Friday at the game against St. Pius. Congratulations to Olivia, who was named this year's queen. Seniors, graduation seems like a long time away, but Jostens will be here on Monday to talk about caps and gowns, along with senior clothing. It will take place during advisory. They will be back again a week later to take orders. Another reminder to seniors that there will be a workshop on Tuesday after school to help you get money for college. The Pell Grant workshop will help determine if you will get grants for college that you do not have to pay back. All students who plan to use their a scholarship must complete the Pell Grant application. Email your counselor to reserve a time on either Tuesday or a week later on the 20th. Time now for the question of the week, and we're going to Mr. Greenwood's advisory class for this one. We all know that you have many apps on your phone, some that you use all the time and some not so often. But the question this week, is there any app on your phone that you hate but still use anyway? Facebook. Um, I use it anyway, but I hate it because of all the drama that's always on it. Uh, Google Classroom, because I'm forced to because, you know, you got to do work on your phone. Uh, probably Facebook, because, like, all my family members, like, argue and fight on it. <laughs> oh, Facebook. I don't really use it. It's for old people. Mm -hmm. Amino, because it has terrible connection, usually, when on calls, but it's still fun to use, and I make a lot of friends on there. If you have a topic or question that you think would make for a good discussion, have your advisory teacher email us. That's it for news and announcements this week. Here's Paige with sports. Thanks. First up is the Dons football game last Friday against St. Pius. We pick up the action at the end of the first half with St. Pius up to 8 to nothing. Alex Harris hands the ball off to Trey Mills and watch Trey battle his way into the end zone for a 13-yard touchdown to make the score 8 to 6. St. Pius would go on to add two more touchdowns in the second half and make the final score 21 to 6. Tonight, the Dons will play Crothersville for a second time here at home, and the game starts at 6 instead of the usual 7. The softball team only had one game on Tuesday against Naylor here at home. The final score of that game was 9-3 to for Naylor. They'll make up two games with Alton tomorrow morning. The baseball team also played Naylor here at home on Tuesday, and the score of the game was 7-2 to for Naylor. They traveled to Twin Rivers last night, and here's the score of that game. And finally, the volleyball team had an off week and didn't have any games. Next week, the football team will travel to Frederickstown. The softball team will play their last home game on Monday against Sykeson, and then start their district tournament on Tuesday against Reed Springs. The baseball team will take part in the OFC tournament next week, and the volleyball team will have three games, including two here at home Monday and Tuesday, and at Ellington on Thursday. That's it for the sports this week. Here's Zach with the weekend weather forecast. Thanks, Paige. There's a 50-50 chance of rain tomorrow with a high of 74. Sunday will be partly sunny, and it will warm up to 80. And on Monday, mostly sunny and 81. That's our newscast for this week. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend. Say